And we continue this hour with an update on the breaking news from the University of South Alabama. Police there say a student was abducted in a parking lot and then sexually assaulted. Fox News reporter Candace Murphy on campus right now. Candace, bring us up to speed. Well, Bob and Lenise, we're on the north side of the USA campus right now. Police say around 9 a.m. this morning, a female victim was held at gunpoint, forced into her car in the North Chemistry parking lot. From there, they say she was taken to several places and sexually assaulted. Now, we have a map for you. Police say that she was uh, taken to the student health parking lot, then over to Municipal Park, where the suspect apparently stole her cell phone and her cash. From there, police, police say she was dropped back off in the student health parking lot, but that's not where her car was found. Police say her car was found in the North Chemistry parking lot, where her, where she was originally taken. Now, police say, aren't saying exactly what condition the victim is in right now, but they say that she has been in contact with um, them in order to file this report. And the suspect that they're looking for right now, they say he's in his early 20s, about 5'10", weighing between 180 to 200 pounds. They say he was last seen wearing a green shirt, blue jeans, and glasses. So they want anyone who sees any suspicious activity or anything of that sort to call the USA Police Department. Now, they have increased patrol around campus in the areas where this incident happened in the North Chemistry parking lot and in the student health parking lot. Police also sent out an email to students around 1 o'clock this afternoon to notify them of the incident and let them know to look out for this suspect. Now, we asked why, if this incident happened at 9 a.m., were students and faculty and staff not notified until several hours later? Police say that's because they want to make sure all the information information was correct and they were interviewing several witnesses and of course the victim. So as soon as we get more information, we're talking to some students out here who say it's very aggravating for them, very frustrating. They're just trying to come to school, get a good education. They want to feel safe. So if you know anything, call the uh, USA Police Department and we're of course keep you up to date. Police said they are looking through trying to see if there's any surveillance video where they might see this suspect in this crime on camera. For now reporting live on USA's campus, I'm Candace Murphy, Fox 10 News.